proposed model is good in that it's starting to get um, an opportunity for mayors to represent cities, so to represent them to businesses and to uh, central government. We think though it could go further, so it could be about giving mayors more powers, more powers to be decisive, so uh, working on the local development framework for example, uh, co-chairing the local enterprise partnership which is the business-led partnership at a local level, uh, being involved in the transport authority. We think these powers at a local authority level would make more difference, would give mayors more power to really make a difference to economies. The economic geography of our cities isn't one that is limited to the existing city boundaries. Most of our cities are much more tightly drawn than the conurbations where people uh, live and work uh, uh, who uh, are part of the, those big conurbations. So the city of Manchester, for example, is only one of ten local authorities that make up Greater Manchester and so on. In, in the North East, Newcastle and Sunderland are about the same size and the Tyne and Weir uh, metro area is much larger than the city of Newcastle. But I think the business of constructing new metropolitan authorities with mayors is going to take a long period of time. Even in Greater Manchester, which is most uh, uh, farthest advanced, it's still going to take a long period of time. We also think that knowing that the economy of cities goes beyond the boundaries, that Manchester Local Authority uh, it does not encompass the whole economy of Manchester, it goes far beyond that, that actually the opportunity for cities to have metro mayors, to have mayors across the city region, which is the functional economy, the real economy, uh, we think that letting cities decide whether that would work for them will be really important. The immediate issue is whether the major cities, with their current boundaries, see advantages, and I believe there are advantages, in moving to a mayoral model in place of their existing leader and council model. And looking at the experience of London and the other smaller authorities, including London boroughs, which in fact are quite uh, similar in size to many uh, other city authorities, looking at their experience uh, over the last 10 years, I think there's a very strong case for the major cities outside London considering the mayoral model seriously.